Hello children. This week I am hoping that you will learn a little bit more about counting and I hope the story will help you to remember the different numbers. The book I'm going to read to you is by Judith Kerr and it's called One Night in the Zoo. One magical moonlit night in the zoo, an elephant jumped in the air and flew, but nobody knew. And there he is, jumping up into the air and flying. Then a crocodile and a kangaroo set off on a bicycle made for two. And there's our crocodile and our kangaroo on the bicycle made for two. We call that a tandem, don't we? But it's still a bicycle made for two. And three lions did tricks which astonished a gnu, but nobody knew. And here we have one lion doing card tricks. The second lion is juggling the balls in the air. And the third lion is pulling the rabbit out of the hat. Four bears cooked a squid and made squidgery stew. And there they are. All four of the bears making the squidgery stew. The stew turned five flamingos from pink to blue. Who's ever heard of a blue flamingo? And here they are, all lovely in pink, but each one of them is gradually turning from pink to blue. All five of them. Six rabbits climbed a giraffe for the view. But nobody knew. And here's the lovely giraffe with one, two, three, Four, five, six rabbits, all trying to climb up him so they can get a better view from up there than they are getting from down there. Seven 
tigers sneezed. Achoo! 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 And their seven sneezes of a cockatoo. And here they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all sneezing at the same time and the poor little cockatoo, who happened to be flying over at the time, losing all his feathers because of their sneezes. Poor little cockatoo. Eight monkeys stuck them back on with glue. But nobody knew. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight monkeys, all with the feathers that they have saved and they are now sticking them back on the little cockatoo so he can have all his feathers back again, can't he? Then in the sky, a pinkish hue broke through the dark. And as it grew, nine owls cried, Woo! To it, to woo! The night is fading! Quickly! Shoo! Back in your cages! All of you! And here are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine owls all sitting on the gateway to the zoo instead of being in their cages. But they'll be back in there ready for when the visitors come tomorrow. The sun got up. The keeper, too. Ten cocks crowed. cock a doo He's coming! Quick! He's almost due! And here we have our ten cockerels, each calling cock a doo doo doo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All of them calling to warn all the other animals that the keeper is awakened and is coming to check up on them. The keeper and his trusty crew found all the animals back on view. Excepting maybe just one or two. They look so tired, said the keeper. All through that moonlight night, what did they do? But nobody knew, except me and you. That was a nice story, wasn't it? And you were able to count one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten different types of animals, weren't you? 
I'll see you again. Bye children, have a good week.